Hey everybody, it's B Rock and I am back. So, what are we looking at here? Well, I'm changing things around just a little bit today. This is a um, St. Louis music. It's a manufactured in the United States. They don't make these anymore. This was called the Crate Vintage Club 50. Now, there were two versions of this. There was the 212 and there's the 310. Now, this went up on Craigslist the other day. And if you uh, listen, it's pretty quiet. Everything's on. Give you a quick look at the control panel layout. Hopefully everything looks good. You know, your uh, clean channel is literally volume treble bass. You have a stereo effects loop. It's weird. You have to have a stereo cable. Then the gain channel is gain, treble, mid, bass, and level. And then you have an independent reverb for both channels. It is a tube amp. It is EL84 driven, four EL84s. Don't know if we can quite see down in the chassis. And I believe it's either got three or four 12AX7s. I did not check. Um, the amp came with the foot switch and the stereo cable um, is knocking around here somewhere. And it came with that cust lovely custom-made uh, amp cover here. So why am I showing this to you guys? It's not a really high-end or even really nice amp. Well, this amp is plenty loud and plenty decent for any gig. Any day of the week. Perfectly fine. And it works. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a moment. This amplifier cost me... I'm not exaggerating it, guys... $100. $100 for a fully functional. And now, keep this in mind, this is 2019. I paid $100 for a Crate Vintage Club 50 310 that is fully functioning. So let's get into some sounds. I'm going to flip things around here. You're going to see my beautiful face. There we go. I'm going to stick this down here. All right, guys, boys and girls, I should say. I'm playing my Joe Bonamassa. I might play a couple different things today. But, uh, you know, this is generally my guitar, my go-to guitar. All right, so uh, you may have seen that I had a Barber Small Fry overdrive running into the front of the amplifier it's not on it is a true bypass um, so this let me switch here clean channel so it's uh, EL84s so you have that higher chimey kind of thing Again, uh, oh, and I should let you know where the EQ is set. Trebles at noon, bass is at noon. And that's an okay sound. I'm actually going to adjust this. Maybe you can see the amp a little bit better. Now keep in mind, boys and girls, that um, I'm using a cell phone <laughs> to make these videos. So. Also, this uh, hopefully you get a, a true representation of sound because the mic that's recording the audio is on the phone. Now, I'm in the middle position with both pickups fully on, both uh, tones all the way up. And you might wonder, uh, the volume is... Well, this doesn't really have numbers on it. Yeah, it does. It has 0, 5, and 10. 
and little spots in between. So this is the volume on one, everyone. I've never done this before, so this is new to both of us. Overdrive is now engaged on the um, clean channel. I'm on the bridge pickup. Obviously, the volume needs to come up a little bit on the pedal.
master. Uh, I turned it down to one, so I'll give you an idea. Almost completely goes away. So this is three quarters of the way up. Just approaching two on the volume on the master. pretty much flat. The treble's backed off a little bit and the bass is backed up a little bit from noon. But I preferred the um, the sound of this amplifier, even on the gain channel. I preferred the gain turned down to just where it's, to the point where it's just starting to get a little distorted. Back to the clean. 
here's the gain. Clean. Clean channel. Dirty channel. Clean. on standby nice and quiet function pull the that out oh you guys are gonna get to see maybe some of my puppies walk by all right I'll switch this over quickly all right down sweetie I'm still making a video you gotta let me make a video I'm gonna grab another guitar strap and let's listen to some single coils all right so this is the telly uh, made from parts. We have a warmth neck. Oh, I just got to switch this up real quick. Yeah, like I said, warmth neck, not sure what the body is. Rio Grande bridge pickup and a Seymour Duncan neck pickup. All right, taking the standby off. Guitar, uh, the amp is coming back on.
are. All right, so the level's down. Yeah. So everything's up. I mean, like I said, everyone, that was a quick look at a uh, crate. Uh, what was it? Vintage Club. Yeah, the crate Vintage Club 50. Um, three 10 inch speakers. It's a EL84 tube driven amplifier. And it'll get the job done. Um, the louder it goes, the better it sounds. I do mean that with this particular amp. Unfortunately, I'm shooting in an environment where I cannot get very loud. But, that being said, we got okay. We got decent volumes today. And you get an idea of what the amp sounds like. There's some other videos out there, but none of them are too recent. And none of them really go back and forth between different instruments, different... They're not as in-depth. So look for these guys. A very affordable amplifier. Actually, a, a lot of the older crate stuff, like the Blue Voodoo, uh, the Vintage Club 50, and there's a couple other odds and ends uh, that were put out by Ampeg and St. Louis Music and, and Crate that are fantastic amplifiers. Really good. I mean, this one is actually I, the first tube amp I ever owned it was a 212 Crate Vintage Club 50. So um, it's nice to have it back uh, or have one back. I have plenty of 212 amps. The 310 is... Uh, got a very different frequency range. There's a great video on YouTube of a gentleman who has uh, the 212 and the 310 uh, side by side. I recommend you go check that out. That's a really good video actually. 